Hey guys, Retro Badger here. I've had quite a lot of requests to put the Federation Battlestar Galactica up against Deep Space Nine, but with Deep Space Nine that's armed with quantum torpedoes. So this is effectively going to be a quantum torpedo fight, I think, as the Galactica is armed to the teeth with them. So let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. There's Deep Space Nine. We can't fire from this range, annoyingly, with the Quantum, so we're going to have to get closer. Which is exactly what Deep Space Nine wants. Ah, here we go. Now, their shields are weakening. Oh, here we go. Wow, that is a lot of quantum torpedoes. The phaser array is powerful on this thing as well, I've noticed. Oop. Well, I'm hoping when we get through their shield, if we're still in one piece, we should be able to take them out quite quickly, I'm hoping. It's literally a line of torpedoes. Look at that. Well, they've got a hull breach from the looks of it. Imagine their version of Brex is screaming right now. Although Miles O'Brien wouldn't do that, would he? He'd probably just be like, Oh, the Cardassians. Even if it's not the Cardassians, he'll still blame the Cardassians. Wow, this is one tough station. Oh! <laughs> oh, I jinxed you. Sorry, Deep Space Nine. Right. Okay, here we go. Will we have a different result? So, yeah. They have very strong shielding. Ooh, the hangar's been hit, apparently. They're not close enough for me to fire. Ah, there we go. They keep dropping in and out of range. Oh, wow, look at that. That's nuts. That is absolutely insane. That is the Deep Space Nine of dreams. Wow. Didn't fire that much when we engaged it, I don't think, did it? Oh. They keep going out of range. Not surprised. I'd be warping out of there. Assuming Starfleet fitted warp drives. A warp drive to it. Oh, wow, look at that. If only Deep Space Nine had been equipped with quantum torpedoes, that would have been incredible. Oh, we've taken that hangar out. For some reason, Worf does not like that hangar, and it's the first thing he aimed for. This is absolutely insane. I I don't know, I, I'm thinking like, does this thing have some sort of... Well, I would say Corba might reflect her, but it's not reflecting them back, so... It's got something though, hasn't it? Some next level Q trickery going on here, I think. Yeah, the computer didn't... wasn't able to take this many shots at us. I almost wonder if we didn't get close enough, or we weren't in the weapon arc, perhaps? I'm almost wondering if they're going to ram us here, you know? Like, if the computer gets a bit careless, it might. That will be... Oh gosh, they're getting really close! 
Oh, they surrender, apparently. Well, sorry, but we don't take prisoners. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen this many quantum torpedoes firing. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, we got him. Whoa, there we go. Let's see, any damage? No. Well, the ship appears to still be there, but we'll gloss over that. Yeah, I think um, overall, I'm still going to give that to the Battlestar, even though Deep Space Nine is insanely powerful. But of course, we were able to defeat Deep Space Nine quicker. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.